Don't you love that amazing feeling you have when life is just humming along? Unfortunately, it doesn't always last. One piece of your life slides slightly out of position and then BAM! Everything seems to slam to a stop. Benefits owning your own business reason number seven highlights why you may want to consider starting a business of your own. Hello teachers, I'm Nancy with Escaping the Classroom and I help teachers find genuine ways to start their own businesses. In today's lesson, we're going to take a look at why owning your own business is a good idea. Let's get started. My day started as usual, showering, breakfast, washing up the dishes before getting my grandson into the car and off to school. And then, hey, is the water pressure weaker or is it my imagination? I was certain when water flow went quickly down to a trickle and then no water at all. We're on a well, so there were three possibilities that quickly came to mind. Maybe a mouse had chewed through an electrical connection. It had happened once in a previous home. Maybe the new water pump had failed. That seemed unlikely, but who knows? Or maybe the pressure tank in the basement had failed. The guy who had installed the pump cautioned me that it probably didn't have much life left in it. Had the old pump breathed its last? Or maybe it was the well. Nope, I'm not going to go there. We needed to narrow down the probable source of the problem before calling the plumber. First, a visual check of the water pump and the tank. My daughter headed down to the basement to have a look. Now, the basement isn't a proper basement. It's more of a glorified crawl space. She can handle small enclosed spaces with calm indifference. I cannot. When my daring daughter emerged from the crawl space, she had pictures of a very wet and soggy flooring directly under the bathroom. There was still no obvious cause of the disappearing water, no weird smells, no obvious problem with the water tank, no issues with the pump. Time to call the plumber. There was some good news, some bad news, and then a little more good news. The good news was, it was great to know that my well had been eliminated from that list. In spite of the very dry weather we'd been having, the well was still very viable. And the new well pump was functioning as expected. Another good thing to hear. The bad news. The reason for our loss of water turned out to be a fried pressure switch on the tank. It was easy for my grandson to replace. Thanks, JB. And it didn't cost much either. The reason for the fried switch is where the story takes a turn for the worse. The bathtub sat just above the water tank, and long before I bought the house, a previous owner had replaced part of the outside wall right next to the tub with a glass block wall. It was all the rage at the time, and it let in a lot of light and probably seemed like a really good idea, but it was improperly installed and had been failing for years. Every time someone showered, Water was leaking down that block wall window and then onto the wall below. It reached critical mass and began to impact the flooring under the tub. So my extra little bit of good news was that later in the day, the block wall became an unpleasant memory and the tub left what it had been its home for over 40 years. So how is that good news? Well, I'm getting the new bathroom I've been wanting since I bought the place. I wouldn't have done it quite so soon, but... They say there's no time like the present. What does this have to do with business? Well, I started my own online business a little over a year ago. In June of this year, I retired from teaching and have been doing affiliate marketing full time. If I was still teaching, there were several things I would have to have do, done differently when the water quit running. Since the burnout switch waited until we were almost ready to leave for the day, the office administrator at my school would have been scrambling to get a sub in to cover for me. Her mornings were hectic at best. Since it was so late in the morning, a colleague, or probably two or three, would have been pulled from their prep periods to cover my classes. Even though I always had an emergency lesson plan ready to go, I would have been frantically typing up additional information for my colleagues and the sub if they could find one. My new reality now is that I can easily readjust my schedule. I didn't have to coordinate with workmen during breaks during classes. I didn't have to burden colleagues. And I didn't have to feel stressed. And I don't have to feel stressed if the project takes longer than we had expected. 
don't have to worry about rationing sick days, I can be fully present to whatever task needs my attention. I can do what needs to be done without the stress or the guilt. What about you? Are you in the middle of something that has you torn in two directions and feeling scattered to the four winds? Would having your own business and the ability to reschedule your days give you breathing room and a sense of freedom? You don't have to jump into something full time. One of the beauties of an online business is the ability to start small, very small, and only if and when you want, grow it to a size that's right for you. If the idea of having your own business sounds good, just click the link below for Escaping the Classroom. You'll find all kinds of information to get you started. Whatever path you choose, I wish you the very best. That's it for today, class. I'm Nancy. If you'd like to see more from Escaping the Classroom, just click the link below. And if you found something useful in this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.